In this lecture, we will understand the implode function. In the previous lecture, we understand how the explode function work. Now let's see when and where we would use this implode function. The implode function returns a string from the element of an array. This function joins an array element with the string. The syntax of this implode function is super easy. It starts with this implode function and it has two parameters. The first parameter is a separator. This separator parameter allows you to separate any value with a specific character. And then we have the second parameter which is the require parameter to this implode function. This parameter is used to join the array to a string. Now let's take an example and understand how this implode function works. So I'm going to simply create a variable here, array, and I'm going to specify array to it. And I'm going to just specify some value to it. So I'm going to first create daily, then create my second index tuition, and the third index is tutorials. Now just out of that, I'm going to just create a variable comma separated, and then I'm going to specify implode function to it. And in this implode function, I'm going to first specify the separator parameter. So I'm going to specify white space here. And then I'm going to specify second parameter, which is the array. So I'm going to pass this array to this implode function as a second parameter. When I print this comma separated variable, I'm going to have the result something like this. I'm going to have daily tuition tutorials. Now, this is just a basic use of this implode function. But if you want to enhance the use of this implode function, then you can create navigation links using this implode function as well. Let me show you how to do that. So for example, let's say you have your navigation links in the array. You have different navigation links in the array. You have home, blog and pages. Now you want to use this array and create your navigation link. You're going to simply create your link variable and then specify implode function to it. And in the implode function, I'm going to first pass white space and then to the second parameter, I'm going to pass this array. Just after that, I'm going to just echo ul and li tag and then concatenate the implode function. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to just specify closing li and opening li tag. And to the second parameter, I'm going to specify this array. And then I'm going to just concatenate the closing li and closing ul tag. And now when I execute this echo statement, I'm going to have the result something look like this. I'm going to have my navigation menu using the ul and li tags. Now you can see the implode function is super easy to create navigation menu. Implode function is also useful when working with MySQL database. Let me show you an example. Now, for example, you get the data from the user input form as an array, just like this. You have your name, surname, and your email. Now, when you have this data, you want to insert this data into MySQL database. You simply build a query. You're going to create a SQL statement, and then you will just say insert into table. Just after that, you will specify the table columns. For example, let's say here we have name, surname, and email. This is my table column of this table. So I'm going to just use implode function to specify the column for this table. So I'm going to just simply concatenate SQL statement with this variable. So I'm going to create here SQL statement and create a parenthesis. And in this parenthesis, I'm going to call implode function. So I'm going to just concatenate implode function in this parenthesis and pass parameter to it. So the first parameter, I'm going to specify comma. So I'm going to just separate this array using this comma. And to the second parameter, I'm going to pass my array keys. Just out of that, I just want to specify these values to these columns. So I'm going to just call SQL variable and then concatenate values to it. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to call implode function and just specify separator comma and then pass this array. And now when you execute this SQL statement, you're going to have your values in the table. As simple as that. Now, you're not limited to only insert values using implode statement. You can also select data from the MySQL table as well. For example, I'm going to just create here a variable and then specify array to it. And I'm going to pass three values to this array. Just out of that, I'm going to create id numbers variable and then specify implode function to it. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass comma as a first separator parameter to this implode function. And then I'm going to pass id numbers. So I'm going to pass this array in this implode function as a second parameter. Just out of that, I'm going to just call select query. So I'm going to create here a variable and then pass my select query to it. So here is my simple select query. So I'm going to say select name, email, and phone from user table. So this is my table name. And then I'm going to say where user ID in. And in the parenthesis right here, I'm going to pass ID numbers. So I'm going to pass this variable in this parenthesis. When you execute this statement, this is going to return the data of the user ID 1612. You can experiment with this function and use it more and more. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.